Hello everyone and welcome to The Man Who Is Dan Plays Video Games. This will be my first video. Never really done this before. Kind of new at it. Hopefully uh, you stick around long enough for me to get good and like what you hear. For my first game, I've chosen to play Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo, made by Capcom. This has been one of my favorite games since I was a kid. Hopefully it's one of yours too. If you're a first time viewer of uh, this particular game, hope you enjoy it. Maybe it'll inspire you to go out and buy it or pick it up off eBay, something like that. For those not in the know, that's kind of how I'll be figuring out most of this is, as just assume you don't know anything about this game. The first level of the Mega Man X series, they kind of introduced a new feature where there's just a sort of introductory level, although it was sort of present in some of the older ones. I want to say 7 for the Super Nintendo, but who cares, who's keeping track? In this one, uh, I'm going to go through the introductory level here, blaze through it, hopefully lightning quick speeds. As you can see, I'm pretty good at this game, which contributes to kind of the reason why I chose to be my first game. I figured I might as well start with a game I love, and a game I'm, you know, at least semi-good at. So I don't look like a total just buffoon, and you never want to see me. Unless, you know, you're a masochist or a sadist, I can't remember which is which. And uh, you'll like to see me die at games, at which point maybe I'll have to play Dark Souls or something sometime. Great game, beat it, but, you know, just like anyone, died a lot. Uh, in this introductory stage here, there's a little trick uh, where if you just shoot a charge shot, you can actually kill those little stalker dudes without actually having to shoot them in the face. Any other time you gotta shoot them in the face. After I complete the stage, if you're familiar with Mega Man, It'll finally bring me to the uh, boss select stage, and, and really that's the that's the meat of the game. And the X series has just a ton of secrets and hints, and not really hints, secrets and hidden things to find, cards to increase your life, to e tanks to refill your life, to even some special cameo appearances from some other Capcom titles, which I know how to get. So you will see that if you stick around long enough. The average length of these videos is probably going to be 5 to 10 minutes. I don't want them to be just absurdly long. But, uh, you know, it's got to end on a good stopping point, too. Uh, not really sure why this is one of my favorite games. Just been a big, uh, big Mega Man fan since I was a kid. The first one I ever played was Mega Man 3 for the NES, which is why it ties really close to my second favorite Mega Man game. Favorite of the classic series, though. So I just had to go from the initial. Uh, 10, I would definitely go 3, but, you know, it's probably just for nostalgia's sake. Uh, sorry, I just... As I said, first time I've ever done this, so I'll try to keep up the banter, and maybe make a funny anecdote or two. Hopefully I don't go quiet too much. Why else would you be watching this? I'm almost seeing the stage here. There's a nifty trick. This, uh, ship is gonna fly down and drop out these car guys that you just saw me fighting a second ago. But if you just keep running to the end of the stage, the game just doesn't really do much. And you'll have to fight, I think, one to three. Usually it's three right here. And then I'll be able to proceed to the boss of this intro stage. Oh, looks like that guy glitched out right there. Let's see, how many of these are... That's three. There we go. Yep, three it was. Alright, little boss guy's gonna come down. Oh. New age games where you can skip stuff. There I go, pausing it. There's Vile. Big bad suit. Oh no! Or, as he's also known as, Boba Fett. <laughs> Not really. It's, a, it's kind of a known thing that he looks a lot like Boba Fett. Except purple. Which, I, that's pretty cool too. Purple's a cool color. One started to refer to as the international color of evil. As you can see there, not supposed to beat that guy. Man, there I go again, pausing it, thinking I'm going to skip stuff. Alright, so he's going to talk. We're not really going to care about the story, though, because it's a Mega Man game. Yeah, there's a story there, and it's okay, but it's not massive. Oh my gosh, what was that? Ah, uh, it's Zero. He becomes a much bigger focus later on in the series. He plays a decent role in this game, although you can't play as him, even though he is pretty awesome looking. Do, 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 do. Great music. 
Mega Man games just known for their audio quality. Wish I could name the composer, but I can't. It's kinda sad. So anyway, here we are, finally back to... Well, not back, but finally arrived at what many know as kind of the staple of the Mega Man series, the boss select screen. Pick a boss that you can beat without any kind of special power that you've copied from another one. Beat him, and then figure out what that power you gain. Figure out who that beats to. So, kind of a rock, paper, scissors, but with more. Rock, paper, scissors, laser, Spock. No, not enough for that, too. Uh, and plus, it doesn't quite work, because some of them have double beats in that game. So, anyway, Big Bang shout-out right there. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up there for this first video, just to keep it short and sweet. Uh, and I hope you stay tuned for the next one, where we kick things off with Chill Penguins.